Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. I'm in Pixelmator Pro 2.0 today. It's so much fun. I'm just having so much fun with this app. It's just, it's fun. I don't know how else to say it. So um, I did a recent video where I talked about some layers and how you can change a background and that sort of thing. So I'm doing the same kind of thing here, but a step further and building a little bit of a composite. So this is very basic stuff, but it's hoping, hopefully giving you an idea of how you can use layers to build a composite with your own photos. So just like in that last uh, example that I pointed to a moment ago, I'm going to start with a black, or excuse me, a uh, the background that I want to have. So here I've got three photos. I basically got a black background, I've got a cup, and I've got a little steam. And I'm going to put them together and make a steaming cup of tea, right? So I'm going to take my black background, I'm going to drop that onto Pixelmator Pro, and there we go. First, let me size this up, zoom to fit. There we go. It's in there and ready to go. And on my layers panel over here on the left-hand side, I'm going to click plus and choose. And I'm going to get over here and get this cup to JPEG, and I'm going to stick that on there. Now, I previously resized this image because this uh, this cup image was much bigger. I shot it with the Sony full-frame camera, and it's just a huge image. So I resized it to fit perfectly. I recommend that if you want things to align, just check the size of your base layer. So I had to check the pixel dimensions of this background layer, and then I just matched those with um, with this cup. Anyway, so I've now added the new layer. There's the cup, but I don't like that background. I want the black background, Jim. Okay, I'm getting to it. Hang on. Uh, let's see. So I click on Quick Selection, same as I did last time, and I click on New, and I'm just going to come over here and hover my mouse over the areas that I want to get. Whoops, I got some of that uh, background. That's okay. We're going to get rid of that in a second. I got a little bit more. I get a little happy and hyper and stuff. I'm out of control. Not really. Okay, so there we go. I need to clean that up. No problem. I'm going to click Subtract, and I'm going to subtract that, and I'm going to subtract that. And there we go. I've basically got a perfect cutout. I mean, perfect. I mean, there's no such thing as perfect, but that's pretty much perfect. So just like I did in that last video, I'm going to hit Invert, and I'm going to hit Delete, and hey, it's gone. Look at that. Uh, very exciting. So there's Deselect to get rid of those marching ants. And there's my cup. It's kind of floating in space or whatever. We don't really care. Um, well, I don't care. You might, but um, you can move it around. So I'm just going to get the transform tool here, arrange, I guess, technically. And you can see I can resize this if I want to. See that my background is still there. So just be careful. Um, but you can move it as well. I'm going to move it a little bit like that. Maybe maybe move it down just a tiny bit. And I'm, I'm pretty good with that. I'm fine with that. So I've got my black background. I put my cup of tea on top. I cut out that background so that you just see the cup and the black background. Now I need to go get that little bit of steam that's coming off my steaming hot cup of tea. Well, that's easy. Once again, you just click plus in the layers panel and click choose. And this time I'm gonna go get this steam, which is uh, a photo by Stephen Hawking. As you can see here that I got off of Unsplash. And there we go. And this one I did not resize, as you can tell. So I'm going to go over here, and you can see the edges of it. I'm going to grab those, and I'm just going to resize this a little bit, move it around until I get it right where I want it, which is basically right there. It happens to have a black background, so I didn't have to cut that out, and it perfectly matches the black background that I have. So if you don't have something like that for these next steps, you know, if you're doing more steps like this, I'm not in this video to be clear, but if you're doing more steps like that, you're going to want to make sure either that you're going to need to cut this piece out of the background, just like I did with the cup, or you're going to have to already have done that and put it on a background that matches the background that you've got as the base of your photo. Hopefully that makes sense. In other words, this steam is on black. It matches the black that I made, uh, that I use as the background perfectly. Um, you may have to make adjustments. I'm just clarifying that. So there we go. I can uh, bring this up or down. Now, here's one thing I noticed, and that is the cup, the way it is shot, and this is just a teacup that I have that I shot in my office a long time ago, and it's got a little bit of the white rim you can see, which is basically the other side. It's almost like you're looking in the cup a little bit. It's not perfectly level. So here's something you can do. I'm just going to drag this, uh, this image layer down. This is the steam or smoke image. I'm going to drag that down. And as you see here, it's now sitting on top of the cup. So I've basically gotten rid of that uh, white lip by dragging this layer down on top of it. That's all I'm doing is I'm just hiding that by sticking that a little tighter in. And it fits just fine. And it looks great, I think. And I'm pretty happy with that. Now, here's a thing. 
what if you want to go like adjust this cup? Like it's not quite red enough. You know, I've got reflections in it, which I'm not going to take out or even try. I, let's say I want to get rid of uh, some of that tone and make it a little bit different. So I can go back to that layer. I'm on cup two, the name of this cup layer. And I'm going to go over here to the color adjustment tab. And all I'm going to do is just make some color adjustments. Maybe I want it more saturated. You can see what's happening there. Maybe I want to darken it a little bit, take that exposure down. Maybe I want to add some contrast, maybe pull down the black point. Yeah, I think something like that. Maybe pull down the brightness a little. No, maybe I'll go more bright. I don't know. I'm just playing around. The point is you can play around. Um, and that's kind of what I'm doing here. So as I understand it in Pixelmator Pro, you can't add an adjustment layer that's going to apply adjustments across your combined photo. I don't think so. Again, I'm kind of new to the product as of today, but I'm getting there. But I don't think you can add an adjustment layer. So you can, however, go and click on these individual ones and adjust them accordingly. So I should be able to click on this and maybe go increase that exposure a little bit. Yeah, there you go. But see what's happening. My black background is getting a little bit messed up so i got to be careful with that maybe try brightness yeah see that's brightening that steam a little bit which i like so that worked there so you can individually adjust those layers but i'm not aware of a way to stick an adjustment layer on top and adjust the whole thing keep that in mind depending on your composite you might need to make some adjustments that encompass the entire thing just something I'm thinking about for future reference. Now, the other thing you can do is stick a little text on here because there is a text tool in Pixelmator. So once again, just click plus and click text and then text shows up and you can just say, get on the text tool over there and then double click here and just say cup of tea, question mark. I don't know, I'm making this up here, kind of a dumb thing to say, but you can do that and then you can move it around. You can reposition the text. You could put it here. I could drop a logo of Lipton tea or somebody's tea and stick that on there if I had a logo and wanted to. There's a lot you can do. It's very powerful. It's very flexible. I don't really want the text uh, layer here. So actually you can just come over here and just delete and that's gone. And I'm back to my cup of tea with the little steam coming off it that I blended with three different images, a black background, a red cup, and some smoke. So there we go. That's how you can do a basic composite in Pixelmator Pro 2.0. Super fun, super easy. I'm just having a ball, honestly, with this app. It's fun. So hope that helps. Hope it gives you some idea of how these um, layers work. And I'll, I'll keep exploring layers and doing more things with it over time. But I wanted to share this simple composite workflow in case it's something that you were trying to figure out or wanted to experiment with in your own photos. Thanks, folks. I hope, uh, hope you're doing well. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves out there. Have fun editing, and I'll see you next time. Adios.